Hey smileys, RIP to this baby girl, the nail from my pinky finger on my right hand. Moment of silence, please. Okay, so smileys, this is all I can remember. I was making the bed earlier today and you know how you gotta tuck the fitted sheet under the mattress? So I'm tucking the fitted sheet under the mattress and next thing you know, my nail is gone. I don't even know what happened. It was just gone. Just gone and definitely gone too soon. Now it just looks weird and I hate it when that happens but we're gonna make the best of it. So speaking of baby girls, here's a little info about myself. I happen to be the baby girl in my family as well. I have five sisters and two brothers to be exact. There's literally an entire gang of us and I am number eight, the finale. I have 23 nieces and nephews, seven great nieces and nephews, the last time I counted, lots of aunts and uncles, and way too many cousins to count, so I am not even going to attempt to do that. But my big crazy family is everything to me and I love each and every one of them. Okay, I love the Sally Hansen nail strips, but they were a little tough to get off. Um, they were kind of sticky. I had a little struggle trying to get all of the particles off of my nails. It wasn't an easy job. It took some time, but we, we got there, we got there. Okay, so we started off with some nail prep as usual. The first step was to remove my old polish, which was the Sally Hansen Salon Effects in Laced Up. I'll definitely use those again, especially when I'm running short on time or if I'm just looking for a really cute design. They have lots of them. And they range from wild and crazy to casual and subtle, so there's definitely something for everyone. But moving right along, I'm continuing my nail prep using an orange stick to gently push back my cuticles and clean underneath my nails a bit more. If you've watched my nail dip videos before, then you know I always include this step. I have longer nails which can harbor dirt and I can't have that, so I clean them well each and every time. Then I'm going to use a file to make sure they're even and shaped how I like. I've been going for a square shaped nail recently, but I do change it up from time to time, so you really never know. Did you know that there are entire articles online on what the shape of your nails say about you and your personality? So square nails say that you are the epitome of chill, you're not afraid of a little sparkle, you're just practical by choosing comfort over making a statement and black and denim make up most of your wardrobe. That's all true for the most part, I'd say. I'm going to use a mixture of lemon juice and warm water to naturally clean and whiten my nails. I'm going to leave it in this solution for about 10 minutes. Now this is an additional step that I like to include every other mani or so. It's not necessary every time, so I just throw it in when I feel like my nails can use a little extra pampering. And now the base coat. I'm using Sally Hansen's 7-in-1 Nail Treatment. Here's why a base coat is so important. A base coat helps the polish to stick to your nails more easily, which means what? Your polish will last longer. A base coat prevents staining and peeling, and it will give your polished nails a more even texture. You don't want to miss this step. Never skip this step. It also creates a barrier that helps protect your nails from the damaging effects of nail polish. And now on to our color. This is Really White by NK. That name is fitting because it is really white. If you're not afraid of bright colors, it doesn't get much brighter than this. The white makes me think of snow and living in Georgia. This may be as close as I am going to get to having a white Christmas smileys. I'm originally from Detroit, so I know all about having snow on Christmas. And it's honestly something I miss occasionally. Okay, a quick break while coat number one dries. And now we're back for coat number two. Okay, 
Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content of this video. Okay, we're gonna do a couple bling nails tonight. I'm just gonna use some loose glitter, which may get messy, so I'm gonna use this file folder to stop myself from making a huge mess with this stuff. This is Bitsy Nail and Body Glitter in the color Silver Lining. It's really pretty. The camera may not do it justice because it's absolutely beautiful. To apply the glitter, I paint the nail using some clear nail polish and then slowly sprinkle the loose glitter onto my nail covering the entire surface. And then here I'm just using an orange stick to get any of the loose glitter off and try not to make too much of a mess. And I'm only gonna do this on my two ring fingers, just as an accent nail. You don't need to do all of your fingers, although that might look cool. Okay, doing the same here, just using a brush to remove the loose glitter from my nail. Trying not to make a mess. is all some additional cleaning here then I'm gonna add a jewel to my middle finger just a little touch not too much and I'm using the nail kit that I used in one of my previous nail did videos I'm gonna go for a tear shaped jewel this time instead of just a round one and this kit does include lots of different shapes so it's really fun and finally the top coat Okay, Smiley, so that's a wrap. I know that one was kind of hard. I'll be back soon with another nailed it video, and maybe this time it won't be so difficult, but I'll be back soon. Stay tuned. Love you. Mwah. Broken in.